What's up, hobby friends, and welcome to this month's vlog video. A vlog video. It's a video log. It already has a video in there. So if you're unaware, um, I actually did start a new job in September. And so I had basically written off pretty much the entire month for any sort of definitive hobby goals. And basically, my plan was just work on things that I wanted to work on, um, try and clear off some of my old projects, and essentially bounce around from project to project without any real firm deadlines. In terms of what I actually managed to accomplish painting-wise, so I painted the classic Loki, which was a 3D print from uh, Nuclear Firefly, as well as the Porphyrian from my Adeptus Titanicus collection. Um, the goal there was to just have a little fun, paint something that wasn't non-metal metal, and um, be able to clear that off my backlog and sort of round out that collection. If you follow my social media on Instagram, you know that I don't actually play Titanics anymore. Uh, but I still keep the models around because they look very cool on the display cabinet. And for the sake of completion, I just wanted to have everything I bought for that game fully painted. I also started working on the Mecha Gargan at the start of the month. Got a decent start just in terms of 3D printing the skeletal structure, getting the thing basically built. And I'd say at a playable state, but I don't like playing with unpainted models. So I don't think I'll be using him until I actually do finish him. I did, however, get sidetracked after a couple of weeks with my Marvel Crisis uh, Protocol subway board. I'm planning to do a proper uh, full-length video later on in October, probably near the end of the month, um, with full details on how I planned and actually built and detailed the thing. But for now, my priority has really been to finish everything that I've built and printed for the board. So the actual board itself and a lot of the scattered terrain in terms of uh, trash cans, benches, billboards. I've got a couple of vending machines and some phone booths that I'm currently working on. And I'm currently printing off a test print for the subway car, at least half of it. I had originally intended to build a really detailed subway car uh, with interiors, mainly for photography purposes. I know that the game itself doesn't have workable interior um, or at least rules for interacting with interiors. But I think after playing with the board, ultimately I realized I just don't care. And I'm at the point now where I want to get this project done so I can walk away from it and really only return to it when I add a couple of extra pieces of scatter um, as the inspiration strikes. So I'm printing off of that. And then hopefully um, in about a week or so, I'll have enough parts printed to make three or four cars. And I'll be able to um, get those painted up and then have those included in the full video walkthrough. Well, in terms of what I accomplished, I guess, tangentially to the hobby, um, I did reorganize my workspace a bit. I'm trying currently to pull off as much as I can from the tables themselves. Uh, I ran into an issue probably halfway through the month where, like an idiot, I spilled coffee and it went right in between my two tables, in between the glass and um, under the floor vent because the tables are sitting on top of the vent cover. I ended up having to take apart everything, literally um, dismantling my computer, um, dismantling my entire hobby space to be able to pull the desks apart and first off the vents, and then to be able to remove the glass tops um, from the tables to be able to clean it all. Uh, that ended up taking up an entire day and I realized that it was just too much clutter and too much stuff on my desk to have to continually, um, one, clean around, and then two, if I were to have to do it again, um, it's a lot of work and a lot of like odds and ends just lying around. So I ended up going to Home Depot and just picking up some MDF um, parts and materials to build some pegboards. I got those mounted onto the wall, I guess, behind my hobby desk and behind my 3D printing station. All it is is just quarter inch pegboards sprayed black. And then I mounted it to the wall studs with some quarter inch wood beams running behind across the top and bottom. And the goal was to essentially get as much of my clutter off of my desks and tables as possible and keep them somewhere easy to reach. I'm really loving how organized it is, although I do need to invest in more pegboard accessories. Uh, one thing I really want to do is get more of these tiny little shelves. It's working really well for the, um, I guess, the water bottles and for the mineral spirits I have on here. And I want to get more of it to have... Uh, my basing materials, my weathering powders and pigments and stuff like that, just within easy access. Um, I had a concern where 
if I had too many shells or if they were too big, my cats would try and jump on them and sit on them. But it hasn't really been the case. I think this shelf is small enough they won't try. So I need to find a way to either get more or make more um, to fill out the pegboard space, especially behind the 3D printing station. I also got rid of the old TV wall mount and TV stand on the back wall. I found that it was very cluttered. It was difficult to clean. It was a lot of um, nooks and crannies for um, the cats to get their cat hair everywhere and vacuuming. I just added on an extra like 15, 20 minutes every day. So I got rid of that and that really seemed to open up the room itself. Um, it does feel like I have a lot more space to work with and I put in a cat tree instead. So my cats would have an extra place to lounge around and sleep in during the day when I'm working. Something I've also been eyeing for the past couple of years is a Secret Labs chair. Uh, the old one I have was getting pretty janky. I've had it for over a decade. Um, the lumbar support on it's gone and my cats have peed on it a few times. So it kind of smells. I ended up picking up a pair of these. So one for myself and one for my girlfriend. And basically it was a combined birthday and anniversary gift because we both have our birthdays this month. And we also have our anniversary this month. Happy five years. I've been eyeing the G2 Esports uh, version of this, but it's been out of stock for quite a few years now. And honestly, I ended up just giving up on waiting and I ended up picking up the, the KDA one for my girlfriend. It's like their special um, sparkly one. I don't remember the term, Ultimate KDA, I think. And then I picked up a color matched Yasuo and uh, Poro Snacks lumbar pillow chair for myself. So the blue on both of them our color match because that's what I care about. And Yasuo himself is um, a Japanese character. So he's got a lot of the Asian designs in terms of like the clouds and the swords and stuff, which is really, really cool. I think it was my favorite backup chair just in terms of the design. And then it matches the Poro Snacks, which is super cute. And it's a great comfortable lumbar pillow. So it's usually at this point in the year where I start planning, not just for the month, but to figure out what I want to have accomplished or what I want to get done for the rest of the year and to start figuring out the roadmap for the year uh, following so 2022 and unfortunately um, a combination of an intense release schedule from Atomic Mass as well as just taking on um, commissions I've built up a rather unhealthy backlog of Marvel miniatures so um, for myself specifically I now have the full Black Order Gamora Nebula um, I will be picking up the entire convocation affiliation and then there will be um, some additions to my web warriors as well as the existing spider foes i already have so that's goblin craven doc ock and spider-man from the new rivals kit as well as moon knight and then i still have uh, killmonger for wakanda some assorted avengers so captain sam war machine hawkeye black widow and then a couple of assorted a force uh, miniatures I already have Medusa, and I'm picking up Enchantress and Angela. And I know technically some of this stuff hasn't yet been released, um, but I intend to pick them up when they are, just to avoid any stocking issues that may come because of uh, the pandemic. I know in the past, certain models have basically been delayed in terms of getting the stock back. So, for example, Green Goblin and Venom um, have been out of stock for months. And just to avoid that issue, I want to pick them up and at least have them even if I don't work on them immediately. So the goal for this next couple of months and then leading into, I guess, or preparing for the next year is to try and complete within reason um, several of these affiliations, as well as just knocking out projects for like my junk force so that they're not on my plate in the new year. So basically what I have planned for October, I'm gonna finish the subway board. So I have a few uh, pieces of scattered terrain to finish, um, a few details to finish on the actual board itself, and then the subway trains. I'm going to be planning to do at least two of them. My goal is to have four, so uh, we'll see how that goes. I also want to get this um, Adeptus Mechanicus commission complete. Uh, the client has sent me a couple of models, but because we've both started new jobs, it hasn't really been a rush for the next uh, or the past couple of months. But I would like to get that done and then have what I've done for him so far sent off and off my plate. Also clear up a bit of storage space in my cabinet. Um, I've already planned out my next Marvel commission and the client has sent over, I think it's eight models. So they're on route and I'm hoping to get them sometime early mid-October. 
I can start working on those for this month. And then depending on when that arrives, I'll work on my own A4 affiliation. So Medusa, Enchantress, Angela, and then I do have Black Widow. For November, um, depending on when I get that Marvel commission, um, that may bleed over into the next month. And then I also want to finish off my Spider Foes and Web Warriors. So that's Goblin, Craven, uh, Dr. Octopus, the new Spider-Man from the Rivals, and then Moon Knight. I also want to start working on getting the Mega Gargan built. I probably won't be able to actually start painting him in November, depending on how much Marvel I'll have to work on, as well as how busy work ends up being. And then into December, I typically write off this month, especially the back half because of holidays. It's usually when you have all the get togethers with family and friends. Um, and so really all I'm scheduling for is to basically finish the Mecha Gargan. So my goal is to have that built in November and then I can take the week or two I need in December to actually paint the thing. So based on my experience with painting, um, first the Ironclad and then moving into the gun haulers, I actually completed both gun haulers um, in about a week, week and a half. So I think I could probably comfortably finish the Mecha Gargan in about the same time. I'm going to add a bit of buffer space in December as well. I don't know how many gatherings or, or um, get togethers we're actually going to have because of the pandemic. Most of my friends um, and my social circle, we already have both of our shots. However, the new Delta variant has uh, been picking up and that has really impacted sort of our ability to um, safely or at least comfortably do things um, in larger numbers. So I think that's something I'll have to figure out as it goes. I'll have the buffer there. So if anything that I've planned for October and November doesn't get completed and does get pushed, I still have a bit of time in December to get that done. So essentially what that means is by the end of 2021, I'll have my subway board, web warriors, spider foes, um, Wakanda, my A-Force, and my Junk Force completed, as well as all of my planned commissions so far for this year. I can take all those, set those aside, and then I can basically go into the new year um, with only a handful of projects. I'm starting from scratch, essentially. So I have, for Marvel, my Black Order, all of Convocation, and a few assorted Avengers, which is more just me painting cool models. Um, it's not an affiliation that I'm currently interested in playing. So there's not a lot of urgency beyond having the models in my collection and then maybe um, playing them for flavor in my main affiliations. I'll also have my Death Watch, which I know I started at the beginning of this year and it's turning into another Night Haunt project where the actual army itself and 40k in general isn't interesting, but... A bunch of my friends, we've committed to having a quote-unquote hate project for the new year, something that we don't want to do, but we're going to get, um, we're going to push through and get done. So my Death Watch will be that project. I have 2,000 points built. I've been 3D printing bits. So I think as I go each month tackling however many uh, points we're going to be setting on, I'll do the conversions, do the bits, and then paint up the models for that. Um, I think we're aiming to get our hate projects done within the first six months of the year, but we'll probably need to sit down and actually uh, figure out something concrete. I think we had discussed doing a tale of four painters um, style of thing. And so maybe I'll document my process along with theirs in videos in the new year. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, if you can't tell already, I am very uh, task and deadline oriented and then especially because there have been no events as external motivators to force these deadlines on me I have to impose them myself so if I don't reach them or if I don't finish what I attempt to accomplish it's not the end of the world but I feel bad and so I'm going to do my best to adhere to this roadmap um, it's aggressive but not as aggressive as it could be and I have factored in um, buffer time for slippage in terms of maybe having to push back um, depending on timing of, of projects and releases and then december is i think at least half of it a buffer month itself so if you follow along keep me accountable give me shit on my youtube and my instagram if i start slacking um i'll really appreciate it and yeah we'll see how it goes so that's it for me for now if you want to check out my other social platforms i'll make sure to drop links in the description below and until next time, as always, happy hobbying.